at 31, I had a question on number 81 coming out of section 5.6. And if we read the setup for this, I'm going to use my highlighter and highlight a couple of important things here. So a large mixing tank currently contains 300 gallons of water, right? I want to highlight those units. All right, and you can see there's going to be gallons of water here and gallons of water here. But anyways, now I'm going to change to orange. All right, so a large mixing tank currently contains 300 gallons of water into which into which eight pounds of sugar have been mixed. So I want you to imagine you have a big tank of water and you're pouring sugar into there. And a tap will open, pouring 20 gallons of water per minute into the tank at the same time the sugar is poured into the tank at the rate of two pounds per minute. All right, so again, we have this big old tank of water. We're gonna pour some sugar in it. And then we're also gonna pour some more water in it. So this, this tank is getting filled, well, it started with 300 gallons of water and it's filling with sugar and some more water. And it says find the concentration in pounds per gallon. Now, anytime you see this word per, that's like saying, hey, let's make a ratio or a fraction. And since we're talking about rational functions, in this section, that's where the, the fraction is coming from. So what I did here was I modeled the, the water with 300 plus 20 T because you started with 300 gallons of water and you were gaining 20 gallons per minute. So the units on this function right here are gallons. All right, that's how many gallons of water I have at any minute. Again, I started with 300, maybe a minute later I have 320, two minutes later I have 340 gallons, then 360, so on and so forth. Now sugar, right, we started with eight pounds of sugar and then they're pouring more in. They're pouring more into the tank at two pounds per minute. So that's why I have that plus two T. So the units on this are pounds. All right, so here's the gallons of water and this is the pounds of sugar. And I was asked to get the concentration, which is pounds per gallon. So this one right here, the sugar will become my numerator, and the water is gonna become my denominator when I go to make this ratio. And so that's what you see me talking about here. The concentration is, if I look at the units, again, pounds in ratio to gallons, and then I'm just subbing in those particular equations. So. 8 plus 2t over 300 plus 20t. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.